Hello guys! Creating a small bathroom without a window can be tricky for visualization. But don't worry, today I will show you a quick and easy way to make a great bathroom render. Let's start from the beginning. For a narrow interior, the best approach is to create a view using a section plane. If you are creating a section plane, you need to change an option in the Asset Editor in the Geometry tab. Check camera rays only and uncheck affect light and clip light geometry. This prevents light from going through the created section. To create a view for a small or narrow interior, it's better to change the aspect ratio in the render output tab. Turn on save frame to see the render frame and change the aspect ratio to 1 to 1 square. When you are creating the scene, remember to change field of view. I usually set it to 35 degrees, but for narrow interiors, you can increase it even to 60 degrees. Set the two-point perspective and save the scene. It's time to move on to lighting. Firstly, remember that using only one light source isn't enough. Add different lights with various temperatures. This creates a 3D effect and makes your visualization look better. I will create an emissive material. Increase the intensity and apply the material to select faces. The emissive material is visible, but it might not be strong enough to illuminate the scene. To enhance the lighting, I will use IES lights. Place them under the spotlighting, copy them four times and change their properties. Adjust the light color to a warmer tone and set the Kelvin temperature to 5000. Let's increase the intensity to 8000. IES lights need high intensity to illuminate the scene properly. I change the shape from IES file. Before checking the render, turn on the Material Override option to not be distracted by the materials in the scene. You will find the bathroom interior model, which I used during this tutorial on my website edac.org. You can download the scene I created, complete with materials, maps, and lighting. The link is in the description of the video and in the upper right corner over here. After rendering, if the scene is still too dark, adjust the exposure in the render settings. For interiors without windows, I usually decrease the exposure value to 11 or 12 to brighten the scene. Now let's create the next set of lights. Place rectangle lights above the shower, decrease the intensity, change the color, set them as invisible to hide the shape of a light source. Then place rectangle lights in the alcoves. Adjust their intensity, color, and check them as invisible. Now the render looks much better. To create a mesh light, select the grouped object and click on the Convert to Mesh Light icon. Adjust the mesh light's intensity and color to the warmer tones. Now we have several light sources. It's a good idea to add a light mix render element to have control over each light in the post-production. This is our scene. To brighten this up, increase the exposure. We can do it here, on the right side. Create an exposure layer, slightly boost the exposure value, and reduce the highlight burn to avoid burnouts. Set it somewhere in the middle. Don't go to zero to maintain contrast. Slightly increase contrast. You can increase brightness and contrast further with an additional filmic tone map layer. It's a handy tool. I use it very often. Let's check the visualization with materials. In the render settings, turn off the material override option and render the scene. It looks great. Depending on the materials used, your scene may vary in brightness, so tweak the exposure value and filmic tone map layer again. But we are not done yet. Even though we are creating a render for a windowless bathroom, remember that you can always open the door to introduce a bit of natural light. To do this, create a dome light, place it in the scene, and upload HDRI map. Increase its intensity. Before rendering, make sure your door is hidden. If you are using tags, hide the door tag. Turn off the sunlight, as we don't want that light in the scene. If the scene is too bright, decrease the dome light intensity. The render is much better with the addition of natural light coming through the open door. Finally, enable the lens effect option, and we are done. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. If you want to learn more about Vue for SketchUp, 
check out my website edac.org. You will find there more V-Ray courses, free assets, 3D models, articles, and more. See you there.